What's up YouTube? I'm coming to you from Port Wentworth, Georgia, and I've got a teachable moment for you. Now if you talk to some drivers, this should never ever happen. This my friends, is called high hooking it. So what do we do truck drivers? Freaking kingpin hung up our own fifth wheel. First thing we're gonna do is back up just a little bit. Now I've heard a variety of theories of how to get out of this when you're all by yourself. In the past I've put blocks under the landing gear so I could raise the trailer higher. The first time this ever happened to me was in Utah at a FedEx and a forklift had to come out here and raise it up so I could get out of it. I don't know why it seems so complicated. This is a pretty simple fix drivers. Nothing to lose your cool about as long as you got a brand new load strap. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna... You have to get it in there up towards the front, sitting almost flat, lower than the kingpin. That's real close, but hopefully that'll ease on over. Let's give it a try. All right, that is perfect. There we go. Now we'll just take our load strap out. Ha ha, and there we go. Fixing it with a load strap, getting out of a high hook. So truck drivers, maybe you learned a little something today. I've got several straps in there, but I like to keep one that's brand new, bundled up tight, just in case I don't get out and look. And I think it's okay, but it ain't quite, and I end up high hooking it. A load strap will help get you out of it. Ready to hook up and taking this to Atlanta. I know this wasn't very epically filmed, but it didn't need to be. It's really just to convey the idea that you can use a load strap to get out of a high hook. Well, truck drivers, it's going to be a wrap on this video. I hope that tip helped someone out. But in a perfect world, it wouldn't help anyone because you'd be getting your butt out and looking and you would never high hook. But for those times that it happens anyway, uh, a new bundled up load strap can help keep that fifth wheel angled down so you can ease out of it. A couple things I did, I did not show in the video. I did hit the button to lower my airbags. That wasn't enough alone to get out from it. And I did crank my landing gear down a little bit before I backed up to hook up it the final time. But that's a little tip here on the trucking journey, a teachable moment that I share with you guys. If you liked it, be sure to give a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. But until then, be safe out there and keep on trucking.